Welcome back to the Left Brain Intuition Podcast, that special place where we talk about logic and intuition. My name is Elise Lebeau, I'm the Left Brain Intuitive, and today we're talking about the three questions that you need to start asking if you want to retire early. So I think it would be a little weird for me to be talking about retiring early if I had not achieved that myself. It's always kind of nicer to have a coach who's been there. So I had a plan to retire when I was 58, I think, was was my plan, you know, using one of those calculators. And, and, and when I was 58, I wasn't going to be like a multimillionaire, but I was able to make ends meet. That was my goal. So it was kind of like financial freedom. You know, I wanted to be able to make ends meet, to be able to pay my mortgage and all my other expenses. That was my goal. And what ended up happening is when I was 40, I decided to use my intuition to to get there as soon as I could. Because initially I thought, my gosh, this is a long time, 18 years, (laughs) that's a long time. And I ended up retiring at 47 and I was financially free when I was 49 while I was unemployed and I suffered from chronic fatigue syndrome. So I was sleeping about 20 hours a day back then. And I became financially free while this was happening. So as you can guess, this was not planned by my logical mind. All of these events in hindsight happened because I followed my intuition. I took highly intuitive decisions that some people looked at what I was doing and said, oh my God, are you insane? (laughs) But I was also a professional intuitive for 20 years. And so I knew when my intuition was giving me the green light signal and I was getting it there. So I followed it and I ended up retiring at 47 instead of 58. And your numbers might be even higher. Maybe right now you don't know when you'll be able to retire. So it's not about retiring early. It's just about retiring. You know, when will you, when would you have enough money to do that? That seems impossible maybe to your logical mind. So today I'm not going to give you like, you know, some kind of formula or tips on the stock market. So instead, I want to give you the three questions that I feel you need to start asking if you want to retire early. And surprisingly, one of these questions is for your logical mind, which pulls from conscious information. And the other two are for your intuitive mind, which pulls from subconscious information. And you know when I say that they have to work together? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. So this is all based on the intuitive algorithm, which is how I reverse engineer the instantaneous process that would happen when I give an intuitive reading to somebody. So I gave intuitive readings for 20 years to strangers while also working as a software engineer. But it was instantaneous. It would happen in the moment, quickly, immediately. And like most people who are intuitive, I could not explain what was going on. And it was bugging me specifically because I could give intuitive readings to other people, but I could not do it for myself. I didn't know how it worked. I just knew that I could do it, but I didn't know how it worked and it was bugging me. I'm the kind of person that if something is put in front of me like a toaster, my first reflex is to open it up to see how it works. <laughs> I like to understand how things work. And so so I decided after, I don't know, maybe 10 years, I think I was 40 when I decided, okay, I'm going to figure out what's actually happening when I'm, make, when I'm having an intuitive insight for somebody else. Because, you know, then maybe I can do it for myself too. And that's how the intuitive algorithm was born. The four steps that I need to to take in order to complete an intuitive cycle. So the four steps are access. You have to be able to access your intuition. And there's there's certain channels that are preferred by intuition and that's really important to listen on those channels if you wanna get an intuitive insight. Then there's activate, you have to be able to trigger it on demand. Then there's align, you have to prioritize intuitive insight that is related to what you want, to your goal. And then there's accelerate, which is the fourth step, which is where you make quick, intuitive decision that you can trust. So today, the first question that you need to start asking if you want to retire early is in the align part of the intuitive algorithm. So the third step. And the reason for that is that the logical mind is really good at telling us where we want to go. 
So the first question is, I would like you to ask right now, what do I want to do when I retire? What do I want to do when I retire? Think about that for a moment. So did you know that there's a really weird phenomenon? When people retire, they're good for the first few years, the first couple of years, and then there's a 40% incidence of depression in people who retired within the last couple of years. They become depressed. Now, you would not think that, right? So I'm pretty sure that everybody that you know wants to retire. <laughs> They're looking forward to that. It sounds like awesome to not have to work anymore, not have to go to the office or work from home. However, people are getting depressed when they get to that point. And how, oh my God, how sad, how heartbreaking, especially if you work for a long time to get there, that you feel depressed when you're retired. So... The reason I want you to ask, what do you want to do when you retire, is because I want you to figure out what is fulfilling to you. What is it about retiring early that really is inspiring and fulfilling? So retirement is kind of the middleman, right? Retirement is a step between you and what you want, and specifically what you want to do when you retire. But what do you really, really, really want? in that retirement, in that early retirement? What is it that you want in there? And this is really important to ask your logical mind, ask yourself, because your intuitive mind is providing direction, really, is what it is. It's giving you in-the-moment direction, and specifically, using your emotional compass, is telling you, are you aligned with what you want? Now, there's a big problem here, which is if you don't know what you want, that's what we need to know. That's what we need to align with. That's how we're going to prioritize the intuitive insight that are going to come out of your subconscious. We're going to prioritize it to answer this particular question, to get you to that destination. That intuition is really good at that. It can get you to that destination in the moment. So when you think about that, what am I going to do when I retire? Okay, quick tip. This has nothing to do with intuition. But is there some kind of a small form where you can start to do this today? So let's say that you want to retire early so you can become a professional knitter. Are you knitting right now as a hobby just for fun? It doesn't make money and you definitely cannot retire on that right now. But are you, are you doing the thing that you so much want to do when you retire? That might be a cool thing to start. Because in that moment, what happens is you're collapsing time. <laughs> you're teleporting to that place where you're like, oh, th this is what I've been waiting for. Let's start doing it today in a small, in a small, easy to access form. Let's not postpone that until after you think you've crossed the finish line. So what will happen here as you're asking this question, and, and by the way, I suggest that you ask this question more than once. I suggest that you ask this question frequently. Because the thing is, what you think you want right now from early retirement might not be the same thing that you want two weeks from now. Because maybe you'll make progress and you'll go, oh my gosh, I realized this. I realized that knitting is cool, but really what I want is I want to win the Knitting Olympics. <laughs> That's what I really want. That's new. That's new information. And that's really important information. So now what you want is more specific. Now what you want is more inspiring. So it will change. As you ask this question, the answer will, the answer will change a little bit every time you ask it. And that's why it's cool to keep asking as you move forward. It's kind of like if you're climbing a mountain, you know, when you're in, in the lower elevation and look out at the view, maybe you just see kind of trees, you know, and that's, that's all you can see here. So the view is interesting as you turn around to take it in, it's trees, and then you climb up a little bit and maybe now you're, you're in rocks, you know, so you, when you look out, you see just rock formations. Very cool. It's different. It's a different view. Now you keep going and maybe you're going over the, the cloud line and now you can see above the clouds. That's the view. Wow, that's a completely different view than the trees that you started with. You're still on the same path. You're still climbing up that same mountain. Looks completely different though. Your outlook has changed. 
And that's why it's important to keep asking that question frequently. All right, so that was the first question. And this question was for your logical mind to help align your intuitive insight. What do I want to do when I retire? The second question is for your intuitive mind. And that's how they work together. So now that we know where we want to go, we want to go to that place where we're retiring early and we know why we want to retire early. We know what we want from that. Now we're going to ask the clarity question. And here's the question I suggest for you today. Why am I stuck when it comes to retiring early? Why am I stuck? Why is always a clarity question. It's one of my favorite questions to ask intuition because there's just gold and jewel and <laughs> all kinds of treasures in clarity. And the reason I'm asking this specific question, why am I stuck, is because I think if you were not stuck, you would not be here listening to this. If you felt that you were on the right track and, oh my gosh, everything is lined up for you to retire early, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be listening to this, to, to this episode. So there's a reason that you feel stuck. So maybe you feel overwhelmed. There's too much information out there of all the bazillion things I should be doing to retire early that makes me feel bad. And as soon as it makes you feel bad, you know that your intuition is saying, this is the wrong way, don't go this way. We need to know, though, why? Why is it making you feel bad? And that's the clarity question. So when you ask, why am I stuck when it comes to retiring early? You want to ask your intuition. And you can use whatever process you use to ask these questions to your intuition. One word of caution, though, don't listen to your logical mind. When you ask a question to your intuitive mind, don't listen to your logical mind because your logical mind has a very complicated story that it has elaborated over the years as to why you're stuck. This is not the information we need right now. We want subconscious information. We don't want the conscious story. <laughs> we already have that. You already know why <laughs> in your logical mind. Now we want to pull from the subconscious, from the subconscious, we want to pull intuitive information to answer that question. So the four ways that intuition talks to you or give you an intuitive hint is through a physical sensation an emotion, an image, or a sound that pops in your head, or a thought. Now, the thought one, where you actually have a, an answer that comes in your head and you go, oh my gosh, I've never thought of that before. This is new. That usually comes from your intuition because it was subconscious, which is what feels new to you. It was there, but, but you didn't have access to it consciously. So the thought is the one that is most likely to be, to be subject to problems. The three nemesis of intuition, which is distortion, pollution, and collision, can actually alter the intuitive insight and make it dirty, muddled, confusing. So the thought, which is the fourth way that intuition talks to you, is the least recommended unless you're really good at keeping the three bad guys of intuition at bay. So I recommend that you focus on the other three. So... Physical sensation, do you get a physical sensation when you ask this question? Do you get an emotion? Or do you get an image or a scene that pops in your head? So that's a visual stimulation. It's not a story <laughs> with words. Okay, so that was the second question to ask your intuitive mind. The third question is also for your intuitive mind, and that is the express lane, which is the one of the big wins of intuition. And the question is, what can I do today? to accelerate my retirement. What can I do today? Again, I have crafted this question very carefully. The reason I'm using the word today is because I'm pretty sure that today you cannot add a million dollars to your 401k or to your brokerage account. You can't, right? You, don't, you can't do that today. So the word here of today is scoping down, is scoping down something that might be overwhelming to something small and feasible. So when you ask this, what can I do today to accelerate my retirement? You're probably going to get something small that can be done today. So maybe you'll get an image that pops in your head, one of the ways that intuition talks to you, where you see yourself kind of planting seeds. You're in the garden and you're planting seeds. That's an intuitive hint. That's an intuitive hint that says maybe there's something you can start today that will plant. <laughs> and over time, this plant will grow 
and produce income, passive income, hopefully, and allow you to retire early. That image there of planting seeds in your garden, that's gold. That's gold. And then you can clarify, why did I get an image of planting seeds in the garden? And then you can continue to get more and more clarity with the why question by asking your intuitive mind to answer that question. So these are the three questions that I suggest you start asking if you want to retire early. What do I want to do when I retire? That's for your logical mind. Why am I stuck when it comes to retiring early? That's for your intuitive mind. And then what can I do today to accelerate when I can retire? Again, for your intuitive mind. So these questions, these questions that are very carefully crafted, they all rely on the intuitive algorithm. <laughs> They're all optimized for that. Meaning I want you to be able to complete an intuitive cycle. I want you to be able to access, activate, align, and accelerate your intuitive insight so that you can keep doing this over and over again, so that you're always optimizing your decision. Now, why do I want that for you? Because intuition can get you to your goal 50% faster than your logical mind. And that's based on research. If you've never heard me talk about the red deck, blue deck of cards from the University of Iowa, it's a it's a really fun social experiment where they had people play a game of card. And it was pretty simple. There was a blue deck of card and a red deck of card. And you would just pick which deck you want to turn a card from. And then you would either with cash prices or you would have a penalty where you have to you know, pay up some money. Now, after turning 80 cards, everybody could tell you <laughs> that you wanted to pick from the blue deck because it had pretty consistent rewards and very small penalties. And the red deck was just bad news. It had terrible penalties. It was unpredictable. And so you were more likely to win money by picking from the blue deck. Now, the cool thing about this experiment is this. After turning 40 cards, so half the number of cards, people had a stress response when they reached for the red deck, the bad one. They had a stress response because they were hooked up to machines that was measuring this. So they knew subconsciously, they could not say yet which deck was better. They could not articulate that in language. However, subconsciously, they knew that the red deck didn't feel quite right. It took 80 cards for them to articulate that in words. And that's why intuition always wins. <laughs> it just gets you there faster because there's subconscious information that's just stored in there somewhere deep down in your subconscious mind that can provide you intuitive insight to get you to your goal 50% faster. Now think about that for a moment. When you think about retiring, what if it was 50% faster? Because from now on, from today, when you brush your teeth, when you walk your dog, you're going to ask questions to your intuition every day. And you're just going to optimize your decision. You're going to do both the logical thing and the intuitive thing. You're going to have them work together and you're going to optimize every decision with intuitive insight. And you're going to get there 50% faster. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Now, I was lucky that I was able to do that for myself. You know, I was able to, to do that when I was 40 and, and that, that changed my life. You know, that changed the course of my life because when I got sick, if I had not been planting these seeds since I was 40, it would have been, I would have been in disability. I would have lost my house. I would have not been able to pay for college. I mean, there was a lot of catastrophe that could have happened had I not been planting the seeds for my financial freedom since I was 40. And you know what? As a woman, I feel that we need every advantage that we can find. When I was an engineer, I knew that I was getting paid 30 or 40% less than my male colleagues. I knew that because I had become a manager and I saw everybody's salary. And, and even though I knew it, it, it did give me a, a, a shock when I realized the disparity. So if you're not using your intuition to maximize every decision that you take, you're losing out really. Because we're already disadvantaged. 
And the only way that we can hop right over that disadvantage is by optimizing the small decisions that we make every day and supercharging it with our intuitive insight. All right, that's all I'm getting for you today. So if you didn't know, you can join my Lev Brain Intuition community at levbrainintuition.com. It's a really fun, intuitive community, and I frequently have clarity quests on there. And the subject varies, so sometimes we'll have a seven-day clarity quest on financial freedom or, you know, a three-day clarity quest on your toughest relationship at work. But they're really fun quests that, that show up there. Feel free to join me. I share a lot of stuff that inspires me about intuition in that community, and I'd love to have you there. Leftbrainintuition.com is the place to sign up, and I will talk to you soon.